What's up, guys? You hear that hissing? That's yeah, a male trying to say I'm not happy. But wanted to show you guys a few of my champagne combos that I have in my collection. Um, I just posted this on Instagram, so you guys have seen this guy. And this is a baby coral glow champagne. I may show you guys what uh, he looks like too outside in natural light. But this is a male coral glow, um, coral glow champagne. And this is the dad coral glow champagne. So this is what it would look like as it gets a little bit more age. So there is a bit of a difference. Uh, the color fades out um, uh, a little bit. The uh, vibrant orange uh, goes away, but it's still a very pretty snake. Um, looks very similar to the albino champagne. Uh, obviously, of course, without the red eyes. So they are pretty, but um, they definitely lose some of their color as they get older. So this, this boy right here is gorgeous. So. Fortunately, he is not available anymore. Someone put a deposit on him. So as soon as uh, they are able to pay for him fully, he will be going to his new home. But this guy, I love that, those lines. Kind of reminds me of a highway, huh? What do you guys think? Okay. Well, I'll show you guys a few more uh, uh, cham I mean, champagne combos. And, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys this, this male right here outside with natural color, um, natural lighting. Maybe you guys can see what I'm seeing, but it looks pretty good on the camera. But, all right, let me go put these guys back. All right, so this one is a female champagne pastel. It's got a nice ringer. She's going to try to take off on me here. She doesn't want to be bothered, but... Uh, but this girl is about 2,000 grams. Um, I have uh, paired her to my, uh, what did I pair? oh, Crystal, Crystal and she male. Uh, I just did some research. I wasn't sure what to really pair her to. Um, I was initially thinking and she orange dream, uh, but he's not locking. He's done for the year, but I figured, you know what, let me go do some research and I found some pictures of Champagne Special. And let me tell you, look it up, it looks amazing. So, I am putting her, or I've actually put her already once to my Crystal Enchi, which is a special Mojave Enchi. So I'm hoping that the Enchi would bring in more pattern um, but the Enchi, I mean the, the Champagne Special, uh, lightens up the whole snake and puts a pattern actually on the snake. So uh, with that uh, pattern bringing, um, putting back onto the to the Champagne Gene, I'm hoping that the Enchi would do the same and um, accentuate it some more or increase um, the contrast of the of the pattern. Because with pastel, it washes patterns away. So it's not, I'm not necessarily digging the pastel on champagnes because it washes everything out and just makes it a yellow snake. But I'm hoping for a champagne special Enchi. That would be an ideal uh, baby from that clutch. If it's a male, female, they would be staying here. But this, this girl is pretty, pretty gentle, pretty mellow. But uh, she's probably had it. Had enough of being in the spotlight. So let me go put her away and I'll show you guys a couple more champagne combos. All right, so this next one is uh, one that I could potentially produce from my, from my pairing to that pastel uh, champagne. This one, and she's a, she's a mean one, this girl right here. But this one is a Mojave champagne. Um, her color is not showing up. She's showing up a little bit darker, but she's lighter, more about purple around here, and definitely a right yellow, yellowish green or yellowish purple on there. But the dorsal is showing pretty well, but the the coloration it's a little bit more um, 
a little bit more purple, almost like a mystic potion. But this is a champagne Mojave, as you can see um, from the head. Uh, that's a champagne, champagne head. Um, she didn't go this year. Uh, she's obviously a, she was on a little bit of a light side and kind of a, a picky eater, although she's one of my meanest snakes here. Uh, but she's back to eating right now uh, and uh, packing on some weight. Uh, it's getting, it's cooling down a little bit here in the uh, NorCal, Sacramento area. So it's cooling in the morning. So that's, that's a good, good way of uh, getting some of these females to start thinking about breeding, follicle growth, so that temperature change. So, but um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be pairing her with. Um, I did uh, initially start pairing her with the Anchi Orange Dream, but he has stopped locking as well. So we'll figure it out, we'll figure something out, maybe a GHI, GHI Yellow Belly, if, uh, if that my male gets uh, into, gets into breeding size, but most likely he won't make it. But that's okay. I've got plenty of males that I can possibly pair him to. Just got to figure out which one. So uh, it's possible that, uh, that I might put her with that Enchi Orange Dream. Um, I do want to see Orange Dream on a champagne and then with the Enchi bringing back the, the pattern, uh, that could look amazing. So, uh, but yeah, this is her. She's probably around 1700, 1800 grams, uh, maybe a little bit more. I haven't weighed her in a while. So let me go ahead and, uh, and uh, weigh her later on today. So that's a little bit of a paradox there. But. All right, let me go ahead and show you the last champagne combo that I have. And I, I think I've already shown the, him to you guys last uh, last video, but I'll go ahead and show him for last. All right, so here is one of my studs. So this is a powerhouse male. Uh, my last video, I know I, I showed, it, uh, showed him to you guys, but uh, the angle was a little bit different, so his color might not be showing as much or as well. Uh, this boy is a pastel champagne cinnamon hypo uh, look at that kind of paradox on the head does have that ringer on the side right there um not a full ringer but he is gonna take off uh, but you can see there's no pattern on this guy and that's really because of the uh the, the cinnamon and the, sh the the pastel it just washes out the pattern um, but normally a cinnamon champagne would be darker but because of the pastel and also because of the hypo you can see the difference in color with this one and uh, the pastel champagne that I showed you earlier the pastel champagne is super dark compared to this one it's because of that hypo gene um, orange ghost uh, that it's taking away some of the black some of the darkness on the, the pigmentation on the snake so these normally would be black. It's gray right now, just because of that, because of the hypomelanistic or uh, ghost gene, which is a recessive trait. Um, this guy right here sired uh, one clutch so far this year. And that is, hopefully it is him that sired a clutch um, with my black pastel hypo. That one, will produce some amazing babies. Six eggs, all great veins, so I hope they all make it to term. I am incubating that uh, on, a, on a lower temperature just because the super cinnamons um, or black pastel cinnamons, they tend to have kinking issues when they're paired. Um, so that's one of the issues that they have. Some the super cinnamons, uh, the duck billing, but from what I hear, the, the cinnamon and black pastel combos have a little bit of a less of a health issue um, when uh, hatching them. So, but I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and incubate them at a little bit lower temperature than normal when I uh, incubate my, my babies. So that way I can have a healthy, uh, healthy clutch. So, all right guys, let me know in the comments what uh, combos, if I have it, that you guys wanna see. Um, if you guys can check out my Instagram and check out some some of the morphs if you guys want to see more of a certain combos I can feature some of them um, if you guys want to uh, if you guys have any questions uh, on availability and um, 
future pairings that I'm, I'm going to be doing, let me know down in the comment or on my Facebook page or Instagram. Also, one of the things that I, I wanted to tell you guys that I just recently started, I did start my Patreon page. Uh, for So I'm having a promotion there. I'll, I'll set the link on my description. Uh, basically, it's just going to be um, uh, a page where you guys can get some more content. Also, at the same time, get some discounts on merch, free merch or uh, even a highly discounted uh, ball pythons. Uh, that I'll have uh, coming available. I still have eight clutches that are, are gonna hatch um, and I have one more clutch that or female that would be laying this season. Uh, I believe in a couple of weeks uh, she will be laying so maybe even less than that. Uh, so that would that would be a total of nine. I do have one clutch hatching this week uh, on Thursday or Friday. Um, hopefully that's day 53, 54. So hopefully they pip uh, and then another one will be pipping after a week um, and then I think in October I have about three clutches that are going to be three or four clutches that are going to be hatching so I'm um, going to have some more uh, snakes available so just let me know what you guys are looking for all right thanks guys and uh, thanks for watching here's a bonus feature uh, if you guys stayed a little bit and hung on this is Champagne Coral Glow Outdoor Light. This boy is gorgeous. So, um, the lucky person that will be taking this home uh, is gonna love this boy right here. So, um, I'll send I'll send her a, a link to, um, to see this video so that way she can appreciate what she's getting. But this is. A beautiful male champagne coral glow. Love that color. Alright guys, that's it for the weekend.